See, you guys laugh, but I'm telling you, I know what I saw. Come on, Francis. Aren't you tired of all these conspiracy theories? It's probably just in your Look, head. I know what I saw. For Christ's sakes. All right, go ahead. Okay. I was heading down to the old heating plant to get some pictures of the renovations for the paper. Everything outside looked normal. No one had responded to my emails about getting on site, so I figured I'd just head down and check it out anyway. I hiked up the bluff and found out the fences were still up. I had already gone through the trouble of walking all the way there, so I... Snapped a few pictures and climbed the fence. As I got closer, I noticed a strange sound. Sorry. A strange sound. It's, it sounded like it, it was coming from inside, but it was really unnerving. I, I hadn't expected to find anyone there. I moved closer, looking for the source of the noise, but something felt odd, and I, I couldn't put my finger on it. I, I walked to the base, looking for an unlocked door or window or something. I, I assumed the noises were workers wiring the interior, but... Then it hit me. Why I felt off. It was Sunday. Nobody was supposed to be anywhere near there. And there weren't any construction vehicles anywhere around the building. Somebody was sneaking around in there. Really? Really? You're, you're jumping to conclusions again. This is just like the time you thought the cafeteria worker was trying to poison you. And the time before that, you were convinced they were building a secret tunnel system under the college. And how did both of those conspiracies turn out? Lactose intolerance and heating ducts. <laughs> That's fine. But I'll admit that sometimes my imagination runs a little bit wild, but this time it's different. This time it's real, okay? Just let me finish. I walked up to the service entrance, but the second I set foot on the stairs, all of the noise from within abruptly stopped, except for a small, muffled scuffling. I, I ran and hid, but as soon as I was there, a, a door cracked open and a man poked his head out. He looked around and then strode off into the woods with a, a paper package under his arm. I tried to follow him, but I, I lost him somehow. Then I came here. Come on, Francis. Aren't you tired of all these conspiracy theories? It's probably just in your head. Sorry, I, I just don't see it. It was probably a building inspector or something. But the, the package, he, he had to have the package for some hey, reason. I don't understand okay. what it could... I understand that you have a hard time trusting people. That's fine to a point, but this is getting ridiculous. The world's not that scary of a place, okay? I guess you're right. I, sometimes I just get so wound up and I, I feel like... I don't know. I'd better get going. Thank <laughs> you.